bone marrow transplant is a major procedure and requires a good deal of preparation and planning before you are admitted to the hospital. To help you follow the transplant process, we strongly encourage you to bring a family member with you when you see your BMT physician and the coordinator. It's also a good idea to write down any questions you may have and bring them to any meeting you have with your transplant team. Once you've been accepted as a candidate and your transplant date is near, your BMT coordinator will set up a meeting that is convenient for you and your family members to explain the full treatment process. The teaching sessions normally take about one hour. The meeting will involve a step-by-step -step teaching session on what to expect during and after your transplant. This meeting is intended to make you, your family, and caregivers more informed and comfortable about the bone marrow transplant process. Candidates and their support persons must be able to work closely with the entire transplant team. It is also an opportunity for you and your family to ask questions regarding any area of the transplant process you do not understand and to request additional information. You are the most important member of the bone marrow transplant team and we will be happy to answer your questions. At this time, the BMT coordinator and or social worker can arrange a tour of the transplant facilities for you. Your BMT social worker can also help you meet and talk with former patients who have had a bone marrow transplant at Henry Ford Hospital. One way you can meet these patients is through the Henry Ford's Transplant Living Community, or TLC. The group is made up of former transplant patients that volunteer their time to discuss patients' attitude, importance of following instructions, exercise routine, need for support during the transplant process for pre- and post-transplant patients, and support of partners and families. Many patients who are awaiting a bone marrow transplant find this helpful in preparing his or herself for what to expect during their transplant experience. Each of your team members is dedicated to your care and we look forward to helping you through the transplantation process. Your caregiver can be your spouse, friend, adult children, or anyone else you trust and who has the time and flexibility to help and support you during this time. You and your caregiver should be aware that the caregiving role will change over time. Stages of caregiver responsibilities may stretch through pre-transplant period, hospital stay, and post-transplant. During the pre-transplant period, your caregiver may need to act as an advocate for you, attend physician appointments with you to take notes and ask questions, help you with other needs you may have. While you are in the hospital, caregivers should be available to visit you, provide emotional support and encouragement, update family and friends on how you are doing, Post-transplant caregivers may need to help you with catheter care or intravenous or IV medication if needed, drive you to physician appointments a couple times a week, make sure you eat properly and prepare meals if necessary, help you take your medications on time, do household chores that your physician will not permit you to do, run errands, inform the BMT team of changes in your health. Being a caregiver is a big responsibility. It can be physically challenging and emotionally draining. The following are a few helpful hints your caregiver should consider. Informing their employer of their new caregiving responsibilities. Checking their work benefits for paid time off family medical leave, and job flexibility. Staying organized. Developing a schedule for physician appointments, medication, and catheter care. Making a list of important phone numbers and keeping it with them at all times. Writing a daily log of what the patient had to eat and drink and temperature. Listing any questions they have for the BMT team in a notebook. Being flexible as complications and setbacks can happen. 
taking one day at a time. It is important that while they are caring for you, they should also be taking care of themselves. For caregivers, it is important that they maintain a healthy lifestyle and remember to know their limits and ask for help. Friends, family are often willing to help but are not sure what to do. It helps if there is a list of suggestions that can be referred to. Get enough sleep. Keep their doctor appointments. Set up a support system based to help with their needs. Find someone who is a good listener. Share their feelings with the BMT team, a friend, a counselor, or caregiver support group. And be sure they take plenty of time for themselves.